Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with some more 12 12 for you today and this is an epic land battle sent in by a member of the Discord and they said it was an insanely close uh, land battle so I'll definitely uh, expect this one to come down to the last few units and uh, yeah this is uh, obviously 12 12 if you're enjoying seeing 12 12 on the channel at the moment then do remember to leave a like, subscribe from around here and a comment to show your support. And also don't forget to join the Discord, the link is down below in the description if you'd like to uh, get involved in some 12 12 battles or just send in your own replays. Um, but yeah, so we have a 2v2 here today and uh, we have uh, the Grand Duchy of Lithuania and the Teutonic Order working together. So we have rivals working against each other. I mean these uh, two factions fought against each other for like decades, hundreds of years almost you could say. And uh, now they are working together, you've got some of the Teutonic Cavalry here. Uh, some Beratine Swerd Bruder or something like that. I don't know how you say that. But it's not like their uh, Ritter Bruder, which is a really famous cavalry anyway, which uh, is uh, a bit of a shame, but we'll still work with uh, what we have available to us. And then against the two rivals today, we have uh, we have Navarre, which is one of the new factions, one of the uh, new Spanish factions. They look quite cool. We've got mounted sergeants here. This guy looks pretty damn awesome in his chain mail. Looks very nice. And then uh, with Navarre today, we have... The Cuman uh, and Kipchak uh, Confederacy, which is an awesome uh, faction as well. I mean, these guys are like a, a horde faction, really. Um, they are really cool, though. Very much out in the Far East. They're sort of like a horde. So they're not really. They're kind of a um, Ukraine sort of way. Um, but yeah, they're awesome. Moldovian warriors there. Spear militia. They've got some uh, cool cavalry. They've got some Bayek lancers. These guys are really cool. These are a medium shot cavalry. They're very, very nice. They are going to be very nasty today. I think they have some of the best cavalry uh, on the battlefield. The uh, Bayek Lancer is tier 3. I'm pretty sure we have a Cossack cavalry here, which is tier 3, but it's light shot cavalry. So it'll be interesting to see what happens there. And it looks like we're about to have a cavalry fight in a moment here. It looks like the uh, Mount Sergeants, oh, they could have probably gone for that cavalry. This uh, Teutonic cavalry is being very interesting. It's trying to bait some cavalry into a fight, I have a, I have a feeling. And um, this Mount Sergeants are really well upgraded as well. I just realized there's a lot of chevrons on them. But yeah, this one's going to be very interesting to see who will win this one. Let me know in the comments who do you think is going to win. Do you think it's going to be uh, the Teutonic Order and the Lithuanians? Or do you think it's going to be the Kipchaks, uh, or the Cumans, and, um, and Navarre? I'm not really sure. I think both sides are very well uh, like balanced right now. I mean, numbers are slightly with um, like the Cumans and stuff. But they probably just have more trash units, possibly. Or who knows. But yeah, they might not have the quality... Uh, that uh, the Teutonic Order and Lithuania can bring. I certainly know that uh, the shock infantry Lithuania has available is really good. Whereas it's a Ducal Heavy for Axemen. For a tier 1 unit, they're a really good unit. Definitely uh, worth bringing. But uh, yeah, it looks like, yeah, you can see this is a bit of baiting going on. Seeing who's going to uh, kind of make the first move. Um, it looks like Teutonic Order, yeah, it's just going to keep trying to bait them in. And uh, I have a feeling this happens for a little while. You can see a lot of stuff set setting up here. We've got some good shock infantry here, actually. Dismounted armados. Really good shock infantry here. So uh, this is tier 2. This is quite good, yeah. It seems like there's a lot of tier 1, tier 2 stuff. There is some tier 3, but mainly tier 1 and 2, I'd say. Uh, and here we go. This one looks like it's going to be a proper engagement. Mountain sergeants, they might make it to this one. Yep, here we go. Here's the first combat that's going to take place. It's going to be the Teutonic Order against Navarre. And there we go. The first charge is underway. And... Uh, who kind of came out on top of that? It definitely was uh, the Teutonic Order came out on top of that. No surprise there. Mount Sergeants will not face off well to Shark Cavalry. Though uh, a 2v1, they might have a good chance. You can see here coming in, the Mount Sergeants into the back. Might have got quite a nice charge there. Uh, might need to send in some Shark Infantry, which Navarre is very close at hand. Uh, and we can see Shark Infantry of the Teutonic Order also coming in. More Cavalry fights going off across the battlefield. Mainly looking like, well, this is a 2v1 in favor of the Teutonic Order. Teutonic Order is winning a lot of these cavalry engagements against Navarre. This is uh, not a good sign for the uh, for the uh, Cumans and for Navarre. But, I mean, they want to get the cavalry out of here, like, now. They need to get infantry in to replace the cavalry. Um, because this, like, certainly this cavalry here is getting just absolutely overwhelmed. We've got spears in him, there's just spears. We've got some, uh, like, swords, some uh, pionets, and all sorts of other stuff. So, uh, yeah, they need to get out of there, really. He's, uh, these shock infantry here, though, for the uh, Teutonic Quarter look awesome. What are they called? Fush neck Heavy Axemen, they're cool. But yeah, I mean, now that the shock infantry is in, you need to really be getting your cavalry out. That's how you've got to play a 12-12 uh, land battle, I feel. Do you want your cavalry to then be, like, be more mobile? Like, it's not being mobile here, it's not doing stuff. You need to get it out, you need to be hammer and handling other stuff. You can see the uh, 
The uh, general here, the Grandmaster's bodyguard, charging in to these uh, shock. She's doing so much damage, getting 40 odd kills on each one. Look at that. Nasty. And there's uh, and these uh, Cossacks also in here as well. It's causing havoc. Causing absolute havoc. Um, over on the other side, I'm surprised they haven't attacked um, with the carry here. These uh, humans could definitely attack this uh, force here. Um, because, well, it's only a, it's a 2v4 uh, in the cavalry in favour of uh, the Cumans. But uh, right now it seems like the Cumans are quite happy just supporting and helping to deal with uh, the Teutonic Order, who's in real trouble. His cavalry is surrounded here. It's in very much in trouble. Very easy to identify in the red and the white. Very much like a Templar, even though they're the Teutonic Order. But uh, yeah, it looks like, uh, well, what we got here breaking here, we have the mounted sergeants breaking here, that's good. It looks like they, they have got their cavalry out of here, so that's good. See, they've got one cavalry out, they charge those Moldovian warriors, that's a good charge there. Now you can see that, uh, it looks like this when is now engaging his infantry anyway, certainly with, uh, certainly with this, uh, human player. So here we go, and also the general sound to attack quarry here. I don't know if that's, that's a bow cavalry unit. I'm pretty sure they're probably pretty good in combat as well. They are, uh... Being chased down the infantry here losing for Navarre. These Pioneers are like light swords, so they're not going to be able to hold back shock infantry and uh, and other swords. Like even Samlanders will beat these guys, I think. Shock infantry going absolutely ham. Shock infantry here though breaking for uh, Navarre as well. This is not a good sign. Got uh, these Cossack cavalry causing still causing havoc in here. They need to get out of there though because they are light cavalry, so they will not hold long in combat. You can see they just died. <laughs> Bunch of them getting stabbed up. Oh, Javi's coming in. A lot of them missing, actually. Uh, who's throwing Javi's? Oh, these guys here, these Basque skirmishers. I presume they're like Basque skirmishers, like from the Basque region. Over here, a lot of cavalry actually breaking for uh, the Cumans. That is really surprising. These Cossack cavalry actually winning that fight. They have the shock infantry and the help, I guess. Um, but yeah, that is kind of surprising. That these, uh, I thought this, uh, this uh, cavalry would certainly do a lot better. Maybe not. Very surprising. Uh, General here, though, Grand Duke's bodyguard, no surprise, he's doing quite well. Probably the best uh, cavalry that they have available in Lithuania today. Certainly better than those Cossacks. They're pretty good Cossacks, but, like, not in prolonged melee. Not in prolonged melee. And you can see here, Lithuania actually kind of cleaning up this cavalry quite nicely. So that's very good to see. I mean, they need to do a better charge here. They don't want to be charging these spears either with cav. Kind of a waste. Uh, over here in the infantry fight, doing quite a good job as well. These noble swords here, holding back the Moldovian warriors. But here comes some uh, shock infantry. These are like Boltai uh, militia. I think they're called, what are they called? Like, uh, let me see. Pretty sure they're called like Boltai, uh, Bolta militia, yeah. So I guess they're from like the Baltics or something like that. It's quite cool. Let's go to slow mo for a little bit. Let's just see uh, like what's going on. You can see that they're. Well, it looks like the cavalry's finally been broken here. Like all this uh, Teutonic cavalry's finally been broken. Uh, the general for the Cubans is now freed up. He might want to go into combat. Uh, might want to get out of combat with these uh, shock infantry. That might be a bit, bit of an issue. Looks like Navarre's really clumped up here, trying to deal with this uh, combination of the Teutonic Order and of uh, and of well, what's left of the Cossacks. I think they're all gone. But we have the Teutonic Order general here. He is wavering. I don't think he's dead. I think he's just wavering. But he's getting chased down by uh, mounted sergeants. Who will be trying to take him out and he may be about to go um so yeah it looks like it's uh could go either way the Teutonic Order may be in a little bit of trouble but so does Navarro look like he's in trouble um but yeah here we go you can see that the uh the general is getting chased down he is a winded nine men left there he goes he's in trouble I think that's the Grandmaster there doing his best and in comes more Teutonic Order to save the day get this cavalry off the field and there you go I think they have broken uh, so that mounts a sergeant. So the general is still wavering. He needs to pop a rally or something like that. And it's just kind of... The Chudong Hold is just very clumped up in a few areas. As is Navarre, though. Spears breaking here, so this is an easy win here for the Teutonic Order and the Thuanians. They're now able to flank around with their swords here, flank into the back of this uh, Bolton militia, which is doing a very good job. Enemy general is dead. That is the Teutonic Order. It has been routed by the general's bodyguard of Navarre, so they have decided, decisively taken out all that cavalry now. And uh, they're now free to kind of just hammer an anvil into the back of 
all this Teutonic Order stuff. This is uh, gonna be gonna be close, but like that, I think this, what they got left of Teutonic Order is very, very dangerous. But whether it's gonna be enough is another question. All this in a big blob there. You can see the the uh, human uh, bodyguards just rear charging. All this uh, shock infantry. I don't know what the shocking which is trying to do. I think it's trying to go into combat. Men are, Men are starting to waver though for both sides. I mean, you can see here, look at this. All the Teutonic Order is basically gone. Looks like the Cubans are going to be beaten by Lithuania, I'd say. Um, Lithuania's got like noble swords, he's got shock infantry, he needs to be getting into the fight, helping his uh, troops out. Don't know if he can take out this Bori, if he can take out this Bori with like, I don't know, the King, uh, the Grand Duke's bodyguard, that would be a big win. Here we go, general versus general. Uh, I'd say that possibly the Bori won that, yeah, no, Bori lost that by a long way, wow, they were like at the numbers significantly, they're getting butchered by that, uh, by that Grand Duke's bodyguard. Jeez, um, they need to get some like infantry. They only have to call, hold this general in place, and uh, I don't know if their general's actually dead. No, just attacked in the rear. Okay, um, yeah, they need to hold this boring in place, get this shock infantry up, kill this general really quickly, and then it's just under Lithuania versus Navarre, and that's gonna be uh, it's gonna be uh, who can just survive longer, I guess. Morale is looking pretty pretty dodgy for both sides. Lithuanian axeman here. These guys have javis. An axe unit with a javis. That's kind of cool. Lithuania is oh Lithuania's general has gone. Lithuania could not actually survive that fight. He shouldn't pull out. He shouldn't have pulled out. He should have stayed in that fight longer. And this Boria won, so it's going to be very close. Um, I mean, to be fair, there's a general here. And he's got a decent amount of men. Um, they're getting out of this fight. To be fair, oh the Cumans. So it's going to be a very close one. To be fair, I think balance power is probably. Well, you can see it's in favour of Lithuania, and Lithuania does like have no general, so they need to sort of stabilise their line if they're going to be able to do this. And uh, the Cumans and Navarre have the cavalry. They have all the cavalry available. So it will be it will be a uh, interesting. I would say Lithuania needs to play defensive and just let they let the um, Navarre and the Cumans come at them. But here we go. We'll have a look and see what happens anyway. Tiny little unit here of Bolter, oh not even Bolter militia, Moldovian warriors are just sneaking in behind. They can probably just break before they even get onto a, like anywhere near them. Got the Bori here, they've got their bows out, they're harassing. Stand and fight, damn you. Uh, they're harassing uh, Lithuania, why do I want to call them Navar? I don't know. Um, they look awesome. They really do. I need to play the Cubans a bit more. I need to try them out. I think they're obviously very ca uh, very uh, land battle friendly. A lot of cav. A lot of horse archers available. Not great infantry. I think they've got some pretty good archers, to be fair. Like uh, hybrid archers. But yeah, this cavalry is pretty damn nasty. Look at the, ma like the masks on this guy. Awesome. They're just shooting down, probably shock infantry and other stuff like that. Just weakening them up for this final assault. Got some pretty decent shock infantry numbers themselves of Navarre. These dismount armadas. I think they're just letting them rest. Just going to fast forward, just for the sake of it, see if anything happens. I doubt anything really will. I think, if anything, well, I don't know. This general might go for a charge on this uh, shock infantry. That wouldn't be the worst idea in the world. He's not got much of an army left. The Cubans, though, he's kind of holding the center. Yeah, it looks like we're going to... No, maybe not. I thought he was going to charge. He's just going to shoot arrows in. Yeah, these Ducal Heavy Axemen look awesome. Very Viking-like. Like, look at them. They look awesome. Still waiting on Navarre to push up. I don't know if they really want to go up this hill. But, I mean, they're going to have to. They uh, have the advantage. And most of these units are shaken. And, uh, well, they're confident, but general dead. Okay, well, yeah, okay, shaken, casualty sustained. 
Yeah, they're in a bit of trouble, some of these units. They probably will break on impact. If they can get Javis, if they can get... Like, they got some uh, no swords here with Javis. If we can get those Javis close enough, they could probably take out that general. Like, Javis are pretty damn uh, nasty in this game. It's got a little bit of ammo left. It looks like he might be going for a charge. No. Just wants to keep shooting a few more of these uh, heavy axemen, just chipping them away. And here we go. I think they're coming up the hill now. Here we go. Navarre is finally going to uh, take the bold step up this hill, as is the Cumans. And we'll see who... Uh... Oh, and it also looks like Lithuania's going to charge down the hill. Lithuania is going to charge down this hill. Here we go. Impact coming in. Nobles of Lithuania engaging against the Pioneers. They probably still got a good chance of winning this with Lithuania. They've got the better infantry. No generals. You just need to be careful of uh, Cav as well. The only issue. Oh, this... oh, I thought they were going to charge downhill. They might. Yeah, they are. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Into the uh, infantry line. They'll cause all sorts of damage in there with these Viking esque looking men. Where's the uh, general? He's just still shooting in the backs. Yeah, I mean, look at this. Moldovan warriors breaking. All of this on the far left's breaking. General could be in trouble here um, for Navarre. Could be really much in, uh, like in trouble here. Shock infantry just about there. Allies general has died. There you go. So Navarre's general has died. And he needs probably most of the troops left. Here we go though. A charge from uh, the Cuman general into the backs. And that might be it for that Moldovian, uh, for that Lithuanian unit, sorry. Yeah, they're, they're already losing decisive because of that. Starting to see some rallying. Oh, but they're winning on this side. They're going to surround the shock infantry over here. They broke through the center. But I think with the cavalry advantage, they have a good chance of winning this to uh, Navarre. They really need to keep that general alive. They're, they're breaking here. Dismount Armado is breaking. General charged in there. Just nearly broke that ducal uh, unit. Moldovan War is still losing here, even though these noble swords got rear charged. Breaking over here, so that flank's now given up. Oh, it's going to be close. Look at this. General's now wavering. I don't even think he's dead. Um, oh my gosh, the Noban Swords. They were winning this flank, and then they've changed their mind, and they have the thought, nah, we're not. We're not going to win this one, Chief. This is insanely close. Look at this rear charge here. They need to trap this General. And here they go. They might get him here. Yeah, they got him. Got him in combat. They're going to try and pull him out of there. He might lose a lot of men doing that. He's wavering. And they've uh, broken that noble sword in that charge of the cavalry. Oh, it's going to close. The unit card's moving around. There you go. The general's broken. broken oh my gosh. It is down to literally two units each. One shock infantry, one sword to one sword, one shock infantry. Though the uh, Ducal Heavy Axemen, they're wavering, but winning the fight. They're like, oh, we kind of want to leave, but we are winning. Moldovian swords breaking here. This is coming down to the last units. They've broken up those uh, shock infantry. It's now going to be a sword and a, uh, like two swords fighting each other. And the shock infantry is now coming in. Smart Armados. These guys might make the difference. They're still winning though this fight, the Snowball Swords, they're winning. It's insane. Break this Moldovian sword. Come on, you can do it. And then it's just a 1v1. Oh, they're now even. They don't really care that their general's dead. There you go, the Moldovian swords are gone, and now it is just a 1v1. It is going to be this shock infantry against this sword. Uh, numbers are with... Um, well, the numbers are with uh, the uh, Lithuanians. This unit should, pro might return actually. Yeah, it returned. Don't know how for how long. Got to send that back in. This man Armados. Got to hold the line. If they can get a good charge here, these Moldovian swords, they might actually do okay.
And here we go. The Moldovian swords back in. For how long, I do not know. And there you go. They broke on that charge. They broke the uh, Lithuanian noble swords. There you go. It is done. What a battle. Uh, and that literally came down to the last few units. A very much a Pyrrhic victory for the Cumans and for Navarre. So yes, this was sent in by uh, Stand, who was playing against the Cubans. So well done to him. That was a really, really close uh, battle. Uh, yeah, literally down to the last units. Like I said, very, very close. Um, so yeah, well done to him and to Paranoid. Uh, for winning their battle as uh, Navarre and as the Cumans. So we'll quickly have a look at some of these uh, end results. We've got a uh, Cumans uh, uh, Kipchak Confederacy. Their general getting 269 kills. Very nice. Very good unit. Um, like it's a very good shot carry and it's also very good with its uh, bow. So yeah, very useful. Um, his shock infantry, even though they're like really light shock infantry, getting uh, 188 kills is not bad at all. His Moldovian warriors... 110 the best one. I mean, some of them only getting like one kill. Look at that. Um, but yeah, these guys, I don't think are very good, but this one seems to do quite well. Um, his cavalry is um, Beck Lancers here, his high ones, actually doing better than his late version. Um, they just seem to get overwhelmed by the uh, the superior cavalry of uh, Lithuania, really. Seems so to just get overwhelmed. Um, but yeah, they did okay, only getting like 50 kills. Not like amazing, but nothing great. Then we've got Paranoid here, who's playing as Navar. 191 kills with his general bodyguard before he died. His uh, shock infantry, 157 kills. Actually did worse than the le uh, less armoured uh, Bolton militia. Uh, and then his uh, skirmishes did very well. 215 kills, really nice kills. There, um, his infantry pioneers here did okay, 88 kills, 93 even better. And his uh, cavalry, yeah, his sergeants kind of were just no match to the uh, cavalry of the Teutonic Order. But they were just about enough to kill them off, uh, getting like 51 kills. Then we've got Dragon Player, who was playing as the Grand Duchy of Lithuania. His uh, Ducal uh, Heavy Axeman, 323 kills, insane. Did very well. His general getting 130, very well uh, done to him. His Noble Swords um, getting... 200 kills, not bad at all, actually. I mean, most of these did really well. 200, 179, 174, 170, really cleaned up. His uh, Cossacks actually did really well as well, getting 141 kills, 189. These guys did actually really well uh, for light cavalry. Then we've got Lord Levin, who was playing as the uh, Teutonic Order. 138 kills uh, as the uh, Grandmaster's bodyguard. And then you've got 238 with his uh, Heavy Axeman. His uh, Samlander Swords did okay, getting 118 kills. And his uh, cavalry getting 93 kills. Again, they kind of were just fighting the... Uh, the uh, amount of sergeants, why they don't have like loads of kills, but they seem to like clean up these uh, sergeants quite well. Also, Lord Levin has a uh, YouTube channel. I fully recommend going and checking that out. Um, yeah, he did some really good content, including a lot of the Tiller stuff as well. So definitely go and check his channel out. I'll leave a link below in the description if you want to go and support him. And uh, yeah, there you go, guys. That was an insanely close 12-12 battle. I cannot believe it came down to those uh, last few units. I don't think I can ever imagine any battle getting any closer than that. But uh, yeah, if you enjoyed, then do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and don't forget to leave a comment to show your support. And until next time, Legionnaires, bye for now.